Hello everyone, this is Game Frost and today we'll be doing another great tutorial video where today we are going to find out how to install the Expose Installer Framework. Now before you guys install um, Expose Framework, you must know um, how it works. Basically, Expose Framework is an is a app which consists of tweaks and hacks for your Android system to use. And it's really, really good, but you also need to root your phone before you start using the Expose Framework. Um, before I start this tutorial, I am very happy that I got the suggestion from Harbayor Rami. I think that's what they call him. Sorry if I pronounce your username wrong, uh, wrong. But it's a really good suggestion, so I'm going to start this video from there. And also, I am really glad that I finally have my computer working and replaced my hard drive with an SSD or solid state drive to make the system boot faster which probably means that we might have lower load times and better videos coming in, in the future now in a moment ado let's start this video so now we are in our home screen I still have my Motorola E5 play sorry for the screaming in the background it must be someone um, so if, before we start we have to press this button um, we go straight to Google Chrome and you have to just type in Expose Framework. Now this is going to send you to XDA Developers. You have to press this Expose Framework Hub. Now if you don't have root yet, I recommend you to install Magix, Magix instead of Super SU. Why you shouldn't um, install Super SU is that the Android system will find out, um, they will find out um, that um, Super SU is in your system and they will try to like I don't know lock your phone down or something like that because they think that you're gonna have but with Magist um, your system is systemless and and Google and any other Android um, app in, in that um, in your Android phone won't detect it because it's not there I mean it is there but it's systemless so um, we have to scroll down and then we have to press down the APK from this thread Now here, um, it shows you the thread of exposed framework. So you could download the installer or the uninstaller. So for the uninstaller, if you want to, um, if you want to delete um, exposed, you just press that right here. Um, so you got the attached files and everything. So let's see, show for post. You have the installer. Okay, so we're gonna go and press this right here. The attached files. So it's going to download 2.96 megabytes. That's how much um, storage it takes. Not that bad. Now keep in mind that um, some Android apps can detect Expose and it will force the app to close because Expose is, is um, basically, you know, it's just a hack too. It's just, a, it's just like mods for your phone. So uh, what's good about it is that there's actually like mods where you can actually configure your YouTube resolution. There are mods that could configure this and that time, anything. It's basically similar to Cydia. Now Cydia, I believe, is that it's a modding tool. It's a modding source for uh, for a jailbroken iPhones. That's what Exposed Installer is. It's basically an alternate, not an alternate, but it's just a similar counterpart to Cydia. So um, be careful. In some cases, it will no longer boot if if it's uh, if you install Expose. So to be honest, if you have a, a phone like a certain phone that Expose cannot be installed to, please don't do this because if you install it, it might uh, make your phone go into a boot loop. All right. Before you install Expose, make sure to root with only Magisk, and that's it. Nothing else. Don't use Super SU. Do not use King Root or Kingo Root. One click root doesn't work with um, newer Android versions anymore because Android security is just gradually increasing. That's the problem. Now, what we're going to do now is that it says the exposed status, exposed framework version active. So, in order to activate it, what you need to do is that you have to download. Let's see here. You have to press install update version 9 beta 3. So you have to install, you can install um, in your system or you can also install in your recovery. It, um, but I recommend you guys to install in the system then a recovery because sometimes there might be errors and they might 
cause a boom. But if you guys are experienced with your recovery, like let's say CWM or um, TWRP recovery, then that's good for you. So I'm gonna press install. So the download is running. So it's gonna download only four megabytes um, of the framework. And then after when it finishes installing, it's going to ask for root access and then it, um, you just press grant and that's about it. So it's installing the update. For me, I do like um, Exposed, but some apps just don't like Exposed and it will literally force close the app. So as you can see, we grant, done, changes will become active on reboot. Now I'm going to press not now and I'm going to start rebooting now. So give us. So as you can see, we have now rebooted our device. So after when we rebooted our device, all you need to do is just type in expose, install it, and you have the framework. So it says that the expose framework version 90 beta 3 is active. Now this is a good thing. It also shows you your device, everything on, you know, every, just everything. So now the next thing we have to do is just go straight to modules. Now you can, um, what it does is that the apps, there are certain apps like let's say Lucky Patcher, um, it shows you like modules. Now these modules are basically additional tools or additional mods for the apps that are you that you're using. Like let's say modification apps like Lucky Patcher, that's the modules you could um do. Now the first thing we need to do is go straight to download, and then this is everything. Now as you can see, everything has different languages and stuff. And um, you can sort by your by status, last update, or creation date. So you can type in I don't know, maybe possibly YouTube. So let's if we type in YouTube, um, it gives you all these modifications for YouTube. Um, it, it exposes basically modifications for your Android. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see if we can. Yeah, awesome pop up video YouTube. Um, you have audio screen music default audio balance and all of this all of this stuff um, You all trans completely translate apps. It's basically on uh, mods everything in exposed is mods now I'm gonna try and find a mod where we can We can try so monster UI this module Okay, let's see. No ads for YouTube. Alright, so if we if you can see here, it says no ads for YouTube, right? It's a simple exposed module. All these modules are just mods to install to your Android. Now, in order to install this, what you need to do is go straight to versions and it'll show you this um every version. So it can say stable, beta, um some other versions. Always stick with the stable, alright? You press download. So it's going to try. So as you can see, my YouTube ad, um, app consists up of ads, right? So let's see if it can actually work. So we're going to install. Um, press settings. And remember, expose installer always require root. So make sh make sure to keep in mind. Um, if you guys want to leave out other suggestions for other tutorials, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll accept it um, maybe um, a few hours later because you know a lot of stuff has to be done. So, but I'm pretty sure I'm excited that now my computer is working and I also am going to live stream on Twitch just so you know. So as you can see no ads for YouTube app is on. Um, let's see, no thanks. Is that it? Let's see here. Um, I don't know if no ads for YouTube actually requires root. Checking the version. It's not active. Make sure it's enabled on exposed installer. All right, right. So in order to do that, you have to go back to the exposed installer, right? Oops. Sorry for that. Um, you go back to the exposed installer, and you're gonna see that you have a module. Um, you have a module open. So if you press in modules, yep. You have to press the check mark. Exposed module list was updated and changes will be active upon boot. Uh, on, upon reboot. So possibly you have to reboot the phone, but let me just check if it does work. So um, no ads for YouTube. Yeah, it's not active. So we have to do another reboot. So before you install 
uh, modules you have to reboot, reboot because it's basically modifying the system settings. So give us another time. Um, Alright, so we're back once again. Now what we're going to do now is to type in no ads for you to see if it's actually working. Now you can see that no ads for YouTube is already activated and this is really good. If you want to donate to the creators you can. So since now the exposed modules is finally working, we're now going to test if actually YouTube has no ads at all. So we're just gonna uh, wait, let's see if it works. So at some point, some apps, sometimes it might work and sometimes it might not. And it possibly depends on what version. So as you can see, um, sometimes YouTube will just stop responding. So you have to make sure to be careful. All right, we got it working. Now we're going to check out we're gonna check out anything so if we type in uh, um, any video okay so let's say this because this video got unpopular videos unavailable hmm this is weird okay let's try this sorry about that guys so as you can so as you can see um, you can see that there is no ads at all so if we type in um if we type in this for example because you know this youtuber mr beast always have ads on his videos but let's see if it, if it as you can see there is no ads at all so as you can so as you can see the expose installer does work it's basically system modifications and it's really really effective sometimes it crashed but you just gotta restart it again and it might work make sure to leave a like and leave a down below if you want any more suggestions or if you have any questions about this video um, regarding um exposed framework you can um so um, please subscribe and also press the notification bell icon um so you so you never miss the video thank you so much for suggesting this video rami and yeah also if you guys want to check out my twitch i do stream videos and games um uh, I know not videos and games, movies and games. So right now, currently on my Twitch, I do have a Captain Underpants movie, cause why not? And I also, I, I also am gonna um, put on, I think Marvel, um, Marvel Avengers, the 2012 movie, the first movie, cause you know if I put, if I put Endgame, it'll basically, you know, maybe possibly terminate my account. So. Basically, Twitch don't really care about old movies. The movies that kind of like, like let's say seven, six years old. So, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.